Welcome to this week's session with the Putnam County District Library and the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week um, and then for the next couple of weeks, we're going to take and look at Microsoft Word. And this week, we're going to look at Word. We're going to look at five um, quick tips that you can use. Next week, we're going to take a look at Excel and the following week, PowerPoint. So let's get started with Microsoft Word tips. The first thing we're going to look at is the tip of using Control C, Control V, and Control X. Control C is copy. So um, real quick, if you want to copy something, when you highlight it, you do the Control C, or on a Mac, it's Command C, copy. And then when you click somewhere else on the page, it is going to very quickly, it's going to do a control B to paste that. And then if you do control X, that is going to take that away. So that is the first quick tip we have that can help to make things uh, work quicker when you're in Word. The second tip is what is referred to as smart lookup. When you highlight a word, and you right click on it what happens is i can i'm going to click on the word today here i'm going to right click and when i right click on that word i come up with the op all of these different options and the one option right here is the smart lookup and notice then what happens over here on the side is it comes up with information about the word today and um, goes out onto the web to look. Third tip is multiple clicks to select chunks or um, within your document. So when we are in a document, if I double click on a word, it's going to highlight the word. If I trip click, it's going to highlight the whole section. So when I double click, I get a single word. And when I triple click, I get the whole section. So notice it highlighted that whole sentence is what it did. And then the fourth tip is inserting a link. So if I want to, say for example, go to Putnam County Library, because that's what my um, information on my Word document is about. If I control K on a Windows machine or command K on a Mac, I can insert a link. So what I could do is I could go here to my Putnam County. I could click on this and I can do a control or C, control K, Command K, whichever type of device I might be on, and notice it pops up and it gives me the ability to put an address in. So what I could do is, is I could put in my PCDL.org and what it's going to do then is it'll make that an active link. And so it's going to jump me out to the actual library page. And then the final is finding a word. When you're, if you have a document, obviously this is very short what I've created where it has the Putnam County District Library is a great place to read a book or magazine. Um, if I had a very long document where I wanted to find a, a word that I had used maybe multiple times, if I do a control F or like I said, Command F on a Mac. I do Control F. And notice what happens is up here my bar changed and I can then type in. So I'm going to type in Putnam. And notice what happens when I type in Putnam. Every word that is Putnam on my document becomes highlighted. So again, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back starting here with my first tip was control C to copy, control V to paste, 
a control X to cut. Second tip is the smart lookup where you, if you highlight a word and right click on it. Third is multiple clicks to select a chunk. So if I double click, it highlights a word. If I triple click, it highlights a sentence or even a section. If I want to insert a link, control K for Windows or command K for Mac, and then I can type in that particular um, address. And then find a word, control F for Windows or command F for Mac. And then I can simply type in the word that I might be looking for. So those are our five tips for this week. I hope you find this information useful.